10 point lead here for Minnehaha Academy. Walton, tough shot, and he gets contact with the line for two. Well, you can just see they're not giving anything easy to Kerwin Walton. He is having to work. Time got Sugg switched out on him, and I think he, he likes that matchup because he doesn't have that length that Ligby is giving him. That time he's driving. Nice job by Carter trying to take that charge, but still nothing easy for Kerwin Walton. You could tell that was the, the Red Hawks' game plan tonight. Fallen Carter is his second. And Walton knocks down both free throws. He's got six points in the game. Four of them in here in the second half on free throws. Keaton Johnson front court for the Red Hawks. Well, you just get the field down eight. They're going to need Kerwin Walton to probably finish this game with 18 to 20 points. Suggs can't get it to go. Najee rebounds and he gets fouled. And undercut just a little bit by Chase Carter is going to pick up the foul. Be his third. It's not going to show up in the, the stats or anything, John, but Elvis Najee with that rebound knew he was fouling, able to still throw it up in midair. That was a really remarkable play. But now you can see Mini Ha Academy with five early fouls. Let's see if Hopkins can take advantage and maybe get into that bonus early on. Drake open, missed on the three. It was a good look, just couldn't get it to go. They get the offensive rebound ball, tipped around, turnover by Hopkins. Johnson for Carter. Offensive foul, it's gonna be four on Chase Carter. Picked up three in a hurry here. Yeah, I'll tell you, that's not an easy play. Merritt does a nice job of standing in there Carter's a big kid, too, taking that hit and momentum. That was a nice play on defense. That's team defense right there. Chase Carter, whose dad, Randy, played for the University of Minnesota. Really good player uh, on the bench, one of the assistant coaches for Minnehaha Academy. But uh, now we'll have to sit with the four fouls. A little opportunity here for Hopkins. And Walton brings the three points closer with his first three. We talked about on the pregame. He had a big postseason last year with threes. And Suggs answers with his second three of the night for Minnehaha. And Walton that time got a good look. Got some good arc on it, too. Nice pass. Nice dish off. Najee misses, but he's fouled. And Elvis Nashi to the line for two. Great feed by Walton, too, drawing the help. Dumps it off Nashi, because that time goes strong. Fouls on Trent Finney, his first. First free throw up and in for Nashi. You know, kind of interesting from a psychological standpoint, John. You, you crew of Walton hits his first three. And within about two and a half seconds on the other end, Jalen Suggs answers it, kind of just say, all right, you got yours, I'm gonna show you I'd get mine too. Nazi one on the two, rebound for a big beat. Don't be surprised to see him pull again. Pull up, gets knocked away by Shrake, loose ball into the hands of Smith. Nice drive, dish to a Ligby, and he gets fouled. It was a good play by yep. Watson Salisbury to find this guy coming down the lane and set him up. What, what I love, John, in high school basketball is how hard these kids are attacking the basket, but then I love how hard the defense is. They are not giving up layups. They are following. They are aggressively trying to protect their rim. Both teams doing a really nice job of just not giving anything easy. This is kind of an old school physical basketball game. It's been fun to see and to sit up close and to watch it. Second one, not good. And Hopkins with the rebound. They trail by eight. Long three. Trouble knocks it down. His first points here in the second half. He's got 19 on the night. Back at the other end, 
not good, but the follow-up by Finney is up and in as he got the offensive board off the Watson Salisbury miss. With Minnehaha answering right back. Well, that's going to be four. Great gets fouled by Suggs. Foul on the baseline there. Straight started to move. Ooh, that's big. Oh, yeah, yeah. you can see the hands yeah. are out of there. But Jalen Suggs, he'd it, 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 be normally a very smart, intelligent basketball player. That's where you just got to try to eliminate that. You got to know how valuable you are to your team, and he does. Frustrated with that. But I'll tell you, Hopkins doing kind of switching the roles here in the second half, drawing eight fouls here with 11 and a half minutes left. Going to be shooting a bonus, a double bonus for a significant amount of time. If I'm them, I'm attacking that basket, forcing Minnehaha Academy to either to guard me or foul me. Eight out of nine so far yep. from the free throw line, too. Yeah, you, you know, you heard Coach Johnson say, we got to make free throws. On, on the flip side, Hopkins has made their free throws. So just kind of when it looked like Minnehaha might pull away here, John, we got ourselves a ball game. Five-point game now was 10. And Suggs now out of the game. Yep. Smith off to Keaton Johnson right wing. Tremble right on him. Johnson will attack. Puts his shot up. Not good. Tip up. Not uh, good. And rebounded by Walton. Good effort by Keaton Johnson. Just couldn't finish. Walton he gets his hands pulled back. Yeah, and there'll be a foul on Johnson. Well, and I like it, Kerwin Walton that time, attacking the basket, taking contact. He's an excellent free throw shooter. The other thing too, John, is you get a chance to rest.